John Hampton Shatter, nicknamed commercially as Papa John, is an American entrepreneur who founded Papa John's Pizza in 1984. Shatter started the business in the back of his father's tavern after selling his car and using the proceeds to purchase used restaurant equipment. As of 2017, his net worth was over $1 billion. Shatter stepped down as CEO on January 1, 2018, after controversy around his comments that the National Football League, who had business affiliation with Papa John's, had not done enough to stop national anthem protests by NFL players, and that the protests had hurt his business. Before he stepped down, his comments had resulted in the NFL cancelling its association with Papa John's. After stepping down as CEO, Shatter remained chairman of the board of directors until July 2018, when it was revealed that, during an internal sensitivity training May 2018 conference call, he pointed out that Colonel Sanders had used the word nigger without backlash. Shatter resigned when the comment became public, but has since maintained that the board conspired against him, and unfairly forced him out of his position. Chapter 1 Early Life and Education Shatter was born in Jeffersonville, Indiana, in 1961, to Mary and Robert Shatter. His mother was a real estate agent, and his father was a judge in Jeffersonville. He has German ancestry. He graduated from Jeffersonville High School in 1980 and received a business degree from Ball State University in 1983. In the 1980s, John Schnatter's father co owned Mix Lounge, a tavern in Jeffersonville. Chapter 2 Career Schnatter founded Papa John's Pizza in 1984, when he converted a broom closet in the back of his father's tavern. Shatter sold his 1971 Z28 Camaro to purchase $1,600 worth of used pizza equipment, and began selling pizzas to the tavern's customers. His pizzas proved sufficiently popular that a year later he moved into an adjoining space. The company went public in 1993. A year later it had 500 stores, and by 1997 it had opened 1,500 stores. In 2009, Schnatter reacquired the Camaro after offering a reward of $250,000 for the car. Schnatter also launched a business called Calistoga Artisan Sandwiches in 2007. In 2008, Schnatter made a million dollar contribution to the Louisville Zoo's Glacier Run expansion in exchange for Calistoga having naming rights to an adjacent water park. The Calistoga business was mostly shut down in 2012, although three locations continued to operate in Naples, Florida. In October 2017, in a conference call with investors, Schnatter blamed the National Football League for poor financial performance, stating the NFL has hurt us, we are disappointed the NFL and its leadership did not resolve this, referring to the U.S. national anthem protests by football players. Papa John's Pizza had a marketing agreement to be the official pizza company of the NFL and also had marketing deals with 23 of its 32 individual teams, and Schnatter said the protests were hurting the company's sales of pizzas. Later that day, Papa John's announced that the NFL Shield or official sponsor designation on Papa John's commercials and advertising would be removed. On December 21, 2017, Shatter announced that he would step down as CEO of Papa John's amidst controversy over his comments. Shatter was replaced as Chief Executive Officer by Chief Operating Officer Steve Ritchie, effective January 1, 2018. The company said Shatter would still appear in the chain's commercials and on its pizza boxes, and was the company's biggest shareholder with approximately 9.5 million shares. He remained chairman of the company's board of directors at the time. In July 2018, Schnatter participated in an internal training conference call with marketing consultants in which there was a role-playing exercise to help Schnatter avoid making remarks that could cause public controversy and damage the company's reputation. During the conference call, Schnatter said, Colonel Sanders called blacks niggers and Sanders never faced public outcry. Shatter also said that people in his home state of Indiana used to drag African Americans from trucks until they died. After the call, the owner of the marketing agency moved to end their contract with Papa John's. Shatter resigned as chairman of the board the same day the incident was reported. 
Later that same day, Shatter also stepped down from his position on the University of Louisville Board of Trustees. On July 26, 2018, Shatter filed a lawsuit in Delaware against Papa John's Pizza to give him access to the company's books and records after they did not allow him to access the company's business records following his resignation in the wake of the teleconference call scandal. He described the company's procedures as an unexplained and heavy handed way to cut ties between him and the company that he founded. In addition to preventing him from accessing information, the corporation also implemented a poison pill strategy in order to limit Schnatter's chances of buying back a majority stake in the company. Schnatter also filed a lawsuit against the company in Kentucky in a dispute over property ownership. In January 2019, a judge ordered the company to give Schnatter access to its records relating to his ouster. A settlement of the lawsuits was announced on March 5, 2019. Under the agreement, the company agreed to share all of its records with Shatter and agreed to remove a part of its poison pill plan that restricted Shatter's communication with other shareholders, and Shatter agreed that he would not seek to stay on the company's board of directors after his current term expired on April 30, 2019, and that if a mutually agreeable independent director was chosen to replace him, he would step down before the end of his term. Shatter retained the right to sue if the records show wrongdoing by the company. The company also agreed to remove a requirement that the activist hedge fund Starboard Value, which owns about 10% of the company, must vote in favor of the incumbent board. As of March 2019, Shatter remained the owner of 31% of the company's shares, but by May 23, he had sold 3.8 million shares and reduced his stake in the company to 19%. By November 2019, his stake was under 17%. In June 2019, the company was the fourth largest takeout and pizza delivery restaurant chain in the world, with headquarters in Jefferson Town, Kentucky, part of the Louisville metropolitan area. In November 2019, Schnatter made his first public comments after leaving Papa John's to Louisville Fox affiliate WDRB. In the interview, Shatter admitted he had used the word nigger during an internal conference call on diversity training, but said he did so to convey his hatred of racism and was quoting someone else. Shatter said, I've had over 40 pizzas in the last 30 days, and it's not the same pizza. It's not the same product. It just doesn't taste as good. He warned that the day of reckoning will come. The interview subsequently went viral, with numerous parodies appearing online. In an interview three months later, Shatter said he had not actually eaten over 40 pizzas in 30 days. Instead, he had tasted over 40 pizzas during that time, as a quality inspection activity. Shatter also criticized the way the company had been run immediately after his departure by Steve Ritchie, who was described as his former protégé. Ritchie had replaced him as CEO, but had been dismissed after less than a year, and Shatter said he saw more common ground with Jeff Smith, who became chairman of the board in February 2019. The one thing he and I agree on is that Steve Ritchie is not a CEO, Shatter said. Chapter 3 – Personal Life In 1983, Shatter sold his 1971 Chevrolet Camaro to help his father's struggling business. He used the leftover funds to start Papa John's. Decades later, he offered a reward of $250,000 for finding the car, and on August 26, 2009, Shatter bought the Camaro back for $250,000. The family he sold it to had sold it, but he still paid them a $25,000 finder's fee. In celebration, Papa John's offered a free pizza to anyone who owned a Camaro. Shatter's original Camaro, has been on display in the company's headquarters in Louisville, Kentucky. The company owns several replicas that are used on tours and for public and TV appearances. On August 15, 2015, Shatter's original Camaro was stolen along with two other classic cars in Detroit, where they were slated to appear in the city's annual Woodward Dream Cruise. The Camaro was recovered two days later on the city's west side with minimal damage. In 1987, Shatter was married to Annette Cox. The couple lived in Anchorage, Kentucky, and have three children. 
Cox filed for divorce on December 5, 2019, and said they had been separated since April 1. In 1999, Shatter was accused of stalking and groping a woman. He claimed the woman was trying to extort him for $5 million. The situation ended with a confidential settlement. In 2009, Shatter was accused of sexual misconduct involving a 24 year old female marketing employee resulting in a confidential settlement. Chapter 3 Section 1 – Charitable Contributions On September 4, 2019, Shatter's Charitable Foundation donated $1 million to Simmons College, a historically black college in Kentucky. Simmons College President Rev. Kevin Cosby expressed the opinion in a press conference that Shatter's actions should speak louder than his words, saying the black community has heard far too many false words. But today this action, this generosity specifically for black education and uplift, speaks louder. There was, however, some criticism of the donation offer. Rev. Jerome Sutton, a Simmons graduate and member of its board of trustees, said it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out what's going on. Is trying to pay off the black community with 30 pieces of silver. In October 2019, the foundation also donated $500,000 to Jeffersonville High School, for renovation of its baseball field, where he had played on the team while a student there. The baseball field was renamed the John H. Shatter Stadium. Chapter 4, Awards and Honors Named 1998 National Ernst & Young Retail Slash Consumer Entrepreneur of the Year Named one of the 10 outstanding young Americans in 2000 by the National Jaycees Organization. Inducted into the Junior Achievement U.S. Business Hall of Fame in 2007. In May 2009 Schnatter was named Honorary Chair of the Ride to Conquer Cancer benefiting Louisville's Norton Cancer Institute. Inducted into the Kentucky Entrepreneur Hall of Fame in 2010. In 2012, he became an honorary initiate of Alpha Tau Omega.